For more than 25 years, the All-City Arts Competition has showcased the talents of Chicago Public High School students. The juried competition lets art teachers submit up to 25 works from their classes and features pieces in 10 arts categories, ranging from drawing, mixed media, painting, to sculpture and ceramics. Of the more than 2,000 entries this year, 800 were selected for public exhibition in gallery shows at the Illinois Institute of Technology and the Ryan Education Center at the Art Institute of Chicago. The competition is really the culmination of what happens in studio arts courses in the district, and so it really is the final showpiece to let the public, general public, know what is happening in the visual arts. What was kind of fun about this project was it's, it was really, you know, truly collaborative. Curie High School teacher Colin Ewald's Mixed Media 2 class's gold-winning submission in printmaking was based on a surrealist technique called Exquisite Corpse. Each student cut a uh, linoleum block that you know, represented one third of a figure, and then they could be combined and recombined in different ways. So the uh, so the figures um, could be based on people or animals or uh, plant life. At CPS high schools, one year of art is a mandatory graduation requirement. While that may be the extent of a student's study, Colin Ewald believes the experience could have a lasting impact on the teens. A handful of, uh, of these kids are going to go on to pursue art you know, in college and maybe seek a career in art, but the vast majority of them aren't, and you know, hopefully they'll do interesting, creative, visual things the rest of their lives. The works on display at the All-City Competition featured pieces from students with and without previous art training, but they're equally recognized in the show. Because the All-City Exhibition is a, is a really formal exhibition program, they are very excited to see their work in an actual gallery. Uh, a lot of times their work is featured in corridors of their high school or cases, but when they get to see it in the context of other work in a formal exhibition setting, uh, they're very excited to be part of that. Teens considering post-secondary studies in art submitted samples of their efforts in the Teen Portfolio Review category. Those top-tier candidates' works were chosen for display at the Art Institute, and those students were eligible for scholarships from sponsoring institutions. Curie High School senior Jose was among the entrants. I always liked art since I was since such a little kid. Since I was maybe like six years old, I started drawing. I started drawing, and once I got into high school, I chose as my major. Jose won a gold medal. He also went to Washington, D.C., where part of the All-City Competition Collection was on display at the U.S. Department of Education. We took 12 intermediate and advanced students from three different high schools to that program. Jesse Weiss, a Curie High School art teacher and Jose's instructor, also went to Washington, D.C. To stand there and have people walk up to him and say, where is your work here and what did you do? And I mean, the kids were like beaming the whole time. So. It was really powerful. It boosted me up. It's like my, my artwork is good enough to go far. So it, like, I completed that goal, but now I have more goals, more goals to complete. Even though the program is a student showcase, art instructors also get recognized for their work in the classroom. I have a great sense of pride when I see my students work up there and just to kind of see what other teachers are doing um, and kind of where we fit into that, you know, because we're also in our classrooms away from all the other adults. We're with the kids all day, so we don't always know what everybody else is doing. So it's nice to see how the programs across the city fit together. The very important thing about All City, it's really collaboration between classroom art teachers, art departments, students, and administrators to pull together uh, and, and present what um, we think is a very important part of the fine arts, uh, visual arts.